got a spare five minutes, have a quick look around Mayotte. Hear the gunfire. That's what we get walking to every morning. Just hope they're not pointing our direction. First up, we're on a shore to the Yacht Club. The least expensive beer for miles. Look mum, I can windsurf backwards. And of course, you gotta go to the airport to check in. Where we had it to ourselves, not a soul around. Then we go to get the things stuck up your nose for the Covid test. And then join the people for a booster jab. We've got more pinholes on the dartboard now. And you get a wee certificate at the end. And a Danish to celebrate. So let's take a walk round town and see what we got. First thing you've got is ladies wearing Factor 50. Sandalwood, we believe. Hello, you looking at me? I think if you want to get mugged in Mayot, this is maybe where you come to. And that's definitely a foul slur on the inhabitants of Mayot, who so far have been nothing but pleasant and quite cool. The two main islands in the Mayotte archipelago are Grand Terre and Petite Terre. We took a run to Grand Terre. Vroom. I mean, seriously, how long does it take to buy a tin of beans? What was the percentage of people living under tin roofs? What was the percentage of people living under tin roofs? I can't remember. Oh, gee. <laughs> Look at the travel guide, is this? <laughs> this was the only restaurant we could find, fittingly, under a tin roof and a canvas roof. No idea what we ate. One of our missions was to find and get a look at the lemurs unique to this island. And bingo, just round the corner, look what we found. Cute little guys, and they taste just like chicken. <laughs> the chef. And the barbecued bananas, just the way I do them. Jam night, musicians, and Stuart welcome. This guy showed up. I was way out my depth. That's plenty. Pizza. Freshly baked pizza. Or head down the fish dock and get yourself some fresh tuna. Eco-friendly hedge trimming. And off to the market to get the fruit and veg. The sandalwood the ladies wear on their face is both sun protection and moisturising, so we're told. I think I better try some. Back at the yacht club, it's wash day, eco friendly style. Well, here's the plan we have to go from my yacht, take some dog legs and then down to these sandbars here off Mozambique. The biggest challenge is fitting the wind direction and the currents together. The Mozambique channel is like a fairground of 
whirlpools that we gotta zigzag around, find the ones that are going fastest, the white ones, do a bit of a zigzag, so we're starting here, we'll probably come over here, whish round that, and just quickly, this is what whishing looks like. Our probable first stopping off place, and all you have to do here is find your way in through the sandbanks. That's probably going to be a joy. But Richards Bay is where we're heading for. All we have to do is follow the routing. So, hope you enjoyed that. Come back soon to see what we did en route. And if you thought that was really amazing, click the like button. And if you haven't, maybe subscribe. Thanks again.